Welcome, welcome, welcome to uh 3D uh welcome to the boxing bookie. This is a uh, 3D boxing. Uh we're going to get into a good one today. Jaleel Hackett and Peter Dobson on the the zone card. Uh it was just to be an interesting fight. Jaleel Hackett, a big time prospect, came out with a lot of hype. He's lived up to expectations to a degree, uh but really looking to take a step forward here. Taking a huge step fight up with Peter Dobson. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what we're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, but for, before we do that, please join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the ticker below. Uh, just five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you ask the bookie anything. It gets you the updated prop bets. It gets you all the best gambling advice that you can have uh, from the best boxing uh, advisor in the world, which is your truly also subscribe to uh, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's fight. Also, uh, yeah, uh, Jaleel Hackett and Peter Dobson. Hackett, good movement, good athlete, uses his jab to set things up. Pretty good fighter. You can see he's got the basics down. He's been taught to fight well. Quick, good athlete, good counter puncher, good timing, fast. He's a really good counter puncher, good combination puncher, accurate shots from all three angles. He's, he's, he's accurate from the long range. He's accurate from the mid range. And he's accurate up close. He's got good skills on the inside. He's really good on the inside. He's not exactly what you think he would be for such a good athlete. He's not so much using the ring and moving. He uses his speed and athleticism on the inside quite a bit to out punch you, outwork you. Uh, good boxing instincts, good, like I said, good twitchy reflexes. Like I said, can fight from all three distances. He's an excellent body puncher. Really, really goes to the body well. Digs the body. Good volume puncher. He can win this fight on volume. Dobson's not a volume guy. Dobson's going to show up. He throws sparsely. Um, Hockett can win this fight just by outworking Dobson. He's just going to put so many rounds in the bank. And Dobson's not a hitter, so he can't bow himself out with a late knockout, which is set one thing up. But there's a lot to like about Hackett. Uh, he can he's a, he can fight coming forward. That's really his fight. He can fight in the phone booth. Good athlete, twitchy, nice jab. He's quick, and slippery to a degree. He's willing to stand in and trade, and has pretty good pop. Super quick hands. Good athlete, twitchy. Uh, good volume, good combination puncher, good power, good speed. You can see he checks all these boxes. He just hasn't fought anyone. At this level yet. And Dobson is not a great fighter, but he's a step up from anything that Hackett has has fought. And I think Hackett definitely passes this test. I think Dobson's a quality opponent. We saw him in with Connor Ben. Uh and he went the distance, but he lost every round and or almost every round. He just didn't really look that impressive. Um I'm surprised he's actually getting another opportunity like this. But with Hackett, it's it, it's it's the right opponent. Um Hackett's gonna look good against him. I, I do I do believe. Dobson, straight up and down, stands behind a high guard, not a high volume, is cautious. He's a cautious, caution first safety technician. He's not looking to get hit. He's not looking to really open up. He's pretty accurate with his shots. He's he's decent from the outside. He has decent skills. He's just not a world-level fighter. Nice jab, and he rolls with shots pretty well. His best punch by far, by a mile, is his jab. Doesn't waste much. He's fairly stationary. Conservative punch output, not much lateral movement. He avoids, he's rugged, he's got a good chin, and he can avoid danger. That's why I like this fight to go the distance, even though Hack can punch. It could be a late mercy stoppage, but I do like it to go the distance. I would definitely look at the over. Jared King hasn't dropped that yet. But Dobson's a stationary basic guy with decent fundamentals and a good jab. Right, like he's got a good jab. That's that's what he's got. He's not super fast. He's not a puncher. Uh, he's kind of strong. He comes forward. He stays behind the jab. He's got some good fundamentals, and he fires off the jab. He's got a good durable chin. It's hit on the line a lot. He gets hit, um, with straight shots from the outside more than he should. But he's fundamentally pretty sound. He stays behind the high guard, elbows in, fires the jab, fires the jab. He doesn't take too many risks. He's he's a safe 
safety for a spider. Um, and he's just against a world-class athlete who can punch like um, Hackett. He's just not going to have enough. He's going to come up short in this fight. Uh, so let's take a look at the odds. Let's see what the, the, the bookies, the odd makers are giving us. Let's take a let's take a look here. Jaleel Hackett is minus a thousand. This is a great bet, I think, to add to your parlay. This is it's minus a thousand. So I would make this a one and a half times bet. So a a a hundred fifty dollar bet is going to make you fifteen bucks. Okay, it's not great, but it, it's going to bring down your odds, right? Like if you want to parlay. Something with a Jerry Enos knockout this weekend, or you want to pull like something with a Janel Beck knockout this weekend. This is a nice little bet. It's safe. He's going to win. He's going to outpoint them. He's going to win the fight on volume. And, and Dobson, like I said, Dobson doesn't have the power to bail himself out late. He doesn't have the power to time him and try to set something up like Gabe Rosado did with, with Beck the Bully. He doesn't have that in him. So he's not really going to win this fight. There's really no path to victory for him to win this fight. So it's a safe bet. It's minus a thousand. The odds aren't great, but it, it's something that we can help bring down the odds on your parlay. If you want to make a standalone bet, bet the house, you're going to win a little bit of money. He's going to win. But if you're looking to better the odds on your parlay, I really, really think that this is a good bet. Uh, I'm not a fan of Dobson. I've never have been. Uh, I, I think, you know, when people say he exposed Connor Ben, I just think that Connor Ben's not as good as advertised without the sauce, right? Like we always knew Connor Ben was a flawed fighter, but he was so explosive and so powerful that he covered up a lot of those flaws. You take away the, the juice, you take away that special power, he's just an ordinary fighter. Hackett, I would say, is probably a better prospect than, than Conor Ben. And, and Hackett will have probably, on point, because of the style, make this easier work. So I like Hackett one and a half times bet, but what I really like him is as, you know, as a tool to bring down your your the odds of your parlay, give you a little bit better odds. Minus a thousand again. We're not making a ton of money on this, but throw it in your parlay. I think you're super safe on this bet. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, guys. Remember to join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Just five dollars a month gets you the best gambling advice. It gets you all the lock of the week. It gets you the updated props. It gets you all the best odds and all the best bets. Uh, it is July 11th. It's July 11th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.